Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this year I have decided to do Vlogmas again. So I actually did this a few years ago. Um, I haven't done it for a few years, so I thought it'd be fun to do it this year. Just because obviously I'm still working from home, so I have a lot more time to film vlogs. Although it might not be as interesting as normal Christmas Christmas is like you know when everything's usually open because this year everything's pretty much cancelled um, usually I would be going to Christmas markets and doing other Christmassy things with the girls or with my husband but this year not much is going on um, I the only thing I do have planned actually is wreath making which is next week um, so that'll be quite fun because I've never done that before. Um, apart from that, literally everything is cancelled this year. So I'm just going to try and make it as exciting and Christmassy as possible. Haven't put up the tree yet, so I will be filming that at some point as well. Um, today's actually the 2nd of December, so technically it's day 2 of Vlogmas. However, um, I didn't do much yesterday, so this can be day 1 and day 2 combined. Maybe even day 3, depending on what I do tomorrow. Um, I might... So I think I'm thinking to put the tree up tomorrow. Today I am just about to go and <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh gosh, it's today I'm just about to go out um, to just a couple of shops. I need to get some wrapping paper, Christmas cards, that kind of stuff. I've actually done most of my Christmas shopping already, so I'm super organised this year. Pretty much got everything during the Black Friday sales. Um, so yeah, I think I've got everything. I just have like two or two or three more presents left to get, but really small ones. So I was waiting for the stores to open to get those last few presents. So now the stores are open, we're officially out of lockdown again. Um, my husband's in the background <laughs> making funny faces or whatever he's doing. Um, so yeah, so now we're out of lockdown, I can actually go to the stores, which I might do on the weekend, of course. I will bring you along with me just because obviously it's vlogmas and I am going to try and vlog pretty much every day um, but I apologise if some days are a bit boring because you know we are technically still in tier 2 in the UK which means that um, we are still under some restrictions um, due to the government guidelines so anyway uh, so yeah I'm going to wrap some presents today and then that's it really. I was gonna go, so yesterday, I don't. those of you who are based in England, yesterday, I don't know if you guys heard, um, the big department store Debenhams actually collapsed, um, which is really sad. So that store has been around for over 200 years and you know, it's we've always been there since when we were really young and it's, I think a lot of families will be like, oh my god, we can't believe Devlin's is closed. So anyway, Devlin's has collapsed, unfortunately, along with other many other businesses, which is really sad due to this pandemic. Um, and I heard that they were going to have a sale and they're not going to close their stores until all their stock has sold. Um, so I was I got up really early this morning because I was thinking, oh, maybe I should go to a Devlin's near me and check out their sale. Um... But I didn't end up going because online it said that the store near me was temporarily closed but they didn't update their hours. Um, so I didn't go. My sister-in-law ended up going to a different one and she said the sale wasn't that great. So what I'm thinking is closer to Christmas and New Year time they'll probably have bigger sales then. So I'm going to save that for then. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much what I've... I haven't been doing much today so far. been working and now I'm going to head out to the shops as I said, and then wrap some presents. Okay, so I'm back from the shop. So I actually spent longer there than what I thought I would um, because I popped into, so near near where I live, we've got a um, H&M as well. We've got like a little shopping area. It's not like a proper shopping centre, but we have like a few clothing stores. So I thought I'd pop into H&M because obviously it's the first day that all the shops are now reopen. Um, I hate the shadow from my glasses. Yes, yeah, it's the first day the shops are reopened, um, so I wanted to just check it out and see if they have any sales and things like that. Um, so H&M did have a sale on a few jumpers, so I've got a couple of jumpers. Just tried them on, I only like one, so I'm gonna return the other one tomorrow. Um, but they were both really good price, so we're originally like 20 pounds, I got one for 10 pounds and another one for nine pounds. Um, 
both like roll neck jumpers but one's like a bit too baggy and I don't like the length because I've got quite wide hips I have to be careful with what style I wear because some styles can make me look massive like literally look like a tent on me um, so the one that's like a tent on me because it's like an oversized jumper um, I've got a size medium but I think even if I got a size small I just think it would still look ridiculous on me so I'm just going to return that one um, the other one's a little bit more of like a cropped jumper so I got a size small in that and it's still quite oversized but um, it's nice I'll show you guys the jumpers in a sec um, and then after H&M I also went to um, Card Factory as I said I was going to and I just picked up some Christmas bits for wrapping um, so I'll just show you guys what I got so I got this wrapping paper um, so it's got like three different wrapping papers in it so it's got like two champagne gold ones and then like an emerald green and this was 199 excuse the mess in the back in my bedroom um so yeah 199 for three and they're all three are two meter rolls so that's pretty good um hopefully that should be enough for the gifts and then I also got, so I decided, to, I didn't really know what colour scheme to go for this year. Um, but then I saw these rolls and I really liked the colours. So I've obviously just, um, by default, I've gone for the gold colour scheme. Um, it's not matching the colour scheme on my tree because the colour scheme on my tree will be white and silver. Um, and then I got these uh, curling ribbons and these were 99p. I love Card Factory because you can get really nice things for like really affordable prices. Um, and then I got these gift tags. Um, there's 12 in this pack and these were also 99p. And then I got a set of Christmas cards and there are two different designs in this pack. So this is the first design and the other design is like this. I really like these cards, so these are $1.99 and there's 16 in there. And then I got a pack of these bows to put on the presents as well. And these were also 99p. And then I got I got like four gift bag gift bags for a pound. So I got two of the um what do you call them? Like the drink, like the bottle gift bags. And then I got two normal gift bags. So one which matches the bottle gift bag and then another one which is just Santa and his reindeers. So yeah, so they were all four for a pound. And then, what else did I get? Oh, actually, I can't show you the other two bits that I got from the card factory just because one is for um, my Secret Santa, uh, part of my Secret Santa present. And I also got part of my Secret Santa present from H&M when I just went there. So yeah, it's a Secret Santa, so I can't show you that because obviously if my Secret Santa watches this vlog, um, then she's gonna know what she's getting. Uh, and then what else did I get? Oh, and then I also got a Christmas card for my husband, which, um, I am not going to show you because obviously he's probably going to watch this vlog and see the card before but it's just a normal Christmas card for your husband basically so nothing really too exciting to see there um so yeah so I've got all this wrapping stuff so I've gone for the gold color scheme for the presents um I love making gifts for Christmas or birthdays or whenever look um, really pretty so I'm looking forward to wrapping everything as I said earlier I've pretty much done all my Christmas shopping already so I can actually just get on with um, wrapping which I'm probably gonna do tonight if I do then I might film a bit I don't want to film too much of it because I will speed it up so it's hard to see what I'm wrapping but in case the people who are receiving gifts from me watch this video I obviously don't want them to see their presents before Christmas, so that's going to be a bit awkward if they do. Um, so yeah, basically, um, I'm not going to start wrapping yet. Oh, I'll show you my jumpers. One second. So this is the jumper that I got. This is the one I'm keeping. Um, so this is the cropped, chunky knit jumper. 
and it's got a roll neck as well. So this is a size small but it is really oversized so if you're, I mean I'm generally a size 12 and I've got a small so if you're smaller than a 12 then you'll need a small or an extra small. Um, but this is from H&M and I got this for £10. It was originally £19.99. So yeah, they do have a good um, knitwear sale in there. So if you're looking for some new jumpers, then head over to H&M. Hey guys, so it's a few hours later since I um, last spoke to you. Um, so I am currently just in the middle of making dinner actually. So um, we're having burgers and I've made homemade sweet potato fries and caramelized onions and peppers to go on top of the burgers. Um, and also we're having some vegan cheese with it. So the reason why we're having vegan cheese, I'm not a vegan, obviously because I'm having a burger which is also not vegan. Um, but I, the reason why we're both having vegan cheese on our burgers is purely because we recently both did a um, intolerance test and found out that we are both intolerant to cow's milk. And so of course that includes things like milk chocolate, um, whey protein powder, cheese, um, obviously milk, uh, yogurts, ice cream, things like that. So I've been shopping around quite a lot over the last month, I would say, just to find alternatives. Sorry if my face looks a bit red as well. I have been cooking and I'm pretty hot now. I literally don't know why I've still got my video on. But anyway, um, so yeah, so we're trying out all this like new vegan um, stuff so cheeses vegan ice creams and so far it's actually really decent which um has surprised me a little bit because i did think it was going to taste weird and okay it does take a little while to get used to um but i'm pretty impressed with the variety i've been shopping the waitrose and I think they have a really, really good selection of free from things. Um, so if you guys have any intolerances or allergies, I like really recommend Waitrose. Um, the other supermarkets are good as well, but I just feel like they have a lot more variety or maybe it's just the Waitrose near me is quite a large Waitrose, so they stock quite a lot of different brands. Um, but yeah, so it's really good. Anyway, I didn't actually come on here to talk about my vegan cheese part though I just mentioned it since I'm making dinner um, so I actually came on here to talk about the Christmas tree so the reason why it's now the 2nd of December and I still haven't got my tree up is because I've been waiting for some things to arrive for the tree so I've been waiting for um, like this what do you call it um, organza mesh ribbon type thing so I think this is like a massive I don't know if it was a massive trend last year maybe I'm just really far behind but this year I feel like everyone's putting this ribbon on their trees and now it's sold out everywhere or the places that do have it are taking about two weeks to deliver it and charging a bomb for the ribbon so I've been looking on Amazon and just sorry for the bad lighting, I'll just face this way. Um, so I've been looking and looking on Amazon for this uh, ribbon. I finally found some that I've just ordered now. It's not going to arrive till Friday, which is a bit annoying. It is on Amazon Prime, but I think it's a bit too late in the evening for to make use of the Amazon Prime for tomorrow. So um, it's going to arrive on Friday, and I don't think I can start decorating my tree without the ribbon, because the ribbon's like one of the first things that needs to go on the tree. So I'm a bit annoyed about that. I did, however, order a different, um, here it is. I did order a different um, ribbon on eBay, which I thought I was ordering an entire roll, um, when actually, I literally just got this in the post. Like, what the actual hell? It's literally a metre of ribbon and it's not even thick enough and it's just going to look ridiculous on the tree. I just I went into I paid £2.50 for this and I was like what the hell I've just wasted £2.50 on a slither of bloody glittery mesh. But anyway so so my last solution or whatever you call it was going to be just to cut this into like bits and make it look like it's wrapped into the tree but it's actually just hooked on like that but then I didn't want it to look shit so 
I've now purchased some more mesh, um, however this time through Amazon instead of eBay. And um, so yeah, I'll wait until that arrives. I, that one's a lot wider and it's an actual roll of mesh, so maybe I should have checked that before I purchased this on Amazon, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's going to happen. I mean, that's going to arrive on Friday. I really hope it just miraculously arrives tomorrow, but we'll see. Also, um, I went to the range on Saturday, I think it was, and purchased lots of, um, well, not lots, about six to eight baubles, new baubles, because my theme last year was also silver and white, so I do have the baubles from last year, but I just wanted to add a few new ones, and the ones that the range had were really good. They're glass baubles, and they were all like a pound or two pound per bauble, which is a bargain, because usually for a glass bauble, it would be like four or five pounds. Um, so, I'll show you guys the baubles, and then I'm gonna see whether I'm gonna do my wrapping today or tomorrow, I might do it tomorrow, because if I'm not putting the tree up tomorrow, then I'll do the wrapping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then if I don't do the sorry my literally every time I start laughing it's because of my husband saying something ridiculous in the background so um, if you ever wonder why I randomly burst out laughing that is the reason why um, so yeah basically yeah I'll show you my baubles and then if I don't end the vlog today I might just continue it in tomorrow into tomorrow and do rather than daily vlogmas do like every other day vlogmas just because I feel like with lockdown there's really not much going on and the restrictions in England are pretty strict still so I don't want to bore you guys with like like tomorrow for example I literally have nothing planned so the last thing I want to do is bore you guys with me sitting at home because I'm literally just going to be working and that's literally it so maybe I'll spread out my wrapping to tomorrow, but we'll see. So these are the baubles that I purchased from the range. So I've got this like diamond shaped silver glittery one. And this was £1.39. And then I got, oh shit. Sorry, one just fell on the floor. I don't know why I'm screaming because I've got carpet so it's not like it's going to smash anyway. Um, so yeah, so I've got that one. Great, the glitter's going everywhere. Um, and then I've got two of these. And this was £1.29. They're quite pretty so I thought I'd get two matching ones. But the rest I just got single ones except for these I got two. So one in white, one in silver. They were both 99p each and they're just like glittery snowflakes basically and then um, I got this beautiful one I absolutely love this I absolutely love this one it's got this gorgeous like embroidery on it so I got that that was £2.50 and then I got this massive it's also a glass one and it's just got like spiral glitter spiral all the way around and then this one which is more of like a champagne gold slash silver but it's also very beautiful so yeah those are the new baubles I got so they will be going up on my tree once the ribbon actually arrives morning guys so it's the next um, Day, so I didn't do anything after I think I was like making dinner and then I ate dinner and I didn't do much after that so I thought no point in vlogging um, so I thought I'd just film a little bit this morning and then just finish this vlog off after I've wrapped all the presents um, pardon me just because I'm really not doing much today um, apart from working so it's not there's not going to be much to vlog to be honest because I'm literally just going to be on my laptop um, so what I'm going to do because I did want to show you like how I wrap my presents but I don't want to show the presents on the um, 
on the camera so what I might do is wrap them and then so that they're covered and you obviously can't see it and then I'll show you just how I do the bow um, the ribbon but what I do with the curling ribbon basically so I can show you that um, it's a really miserable day today so I doubt I'm going to be going out anywhere uh, at the moment I've just been doing a bit of work I've had my breakfast and my coffee my allergies are a little bit bad this morning I haven't taken my allergy tablets I've run out so I might actually need to pop out and get some more um, and also apologies for looking so rough on this vlog um, but I try not to wear too much makeup when I'm just in the house um, but I also realised that I look awful on this vlog so um, I might I'm hoping that that ribbon that I was talking about for the tree yesterday is going to arrive tomorrow. So today is Thursday the 3rd of December, tomorrow is Friday. Um, so I hopefully should be putting my tree up tomorrow, depending on what time the ribbon arrives. Hopefully it arrive earlier in the day so I can put the tree up tomorrow. Um, so I will film that, of course, for Vlogmas. And I will get a little bit more um, glammed up for that, I think. It'll be nice to kind of get some nice clips in there and um, some pictures with the tree um, but yeah so what I'm going to do I'm just finishing off my coffee now and I'm going to wrap the presents with the wrapping paper that I showed you guys yesterday from Card Factory and then I will show you the finished look I guess So guys this is my finished wrapping um, for the presents I have so far so I am still waiting for a lot of them to be um, delivered because obviously I did most of my shopping online um, but I've got two um, gin bottles in here from M&S in those bottle gift bags this is my secret Santa gift in the other large gift bag and then these are just um, for the other gifts are just for various family members so I'm pretty happy with my wrapping at the moment so I've got um, red gold and green going on so very Christmassy and I really like the gift tags as well I mean some of them are a bit big for the size of the presents but it's fine I'm not too fussed about that um, but I just wanted to show you guys if you haven't seen these in M&S yet you need to go and check these out because I don't actually I just brought two bottles because I thought they would be nice gifts to give to someone but I don't actually know who I'm gonna gift this to yet probably just a couple of my friends um, but it's gin and it's different flavoured so this one is Clementine gin liqueur and then it lights up so let me just show you so it's got a um, just focus the camera it's got a button on the bottom when you press it it lights up like this and it's got gold flakes in the gin as well so it's like an actual snow globe that lights up I absolutely love this I think it's such a nice gift see I've just got two of these the other flavor is rhubarb so those would be nice gifts to give to somebody 
Okay guys, so that's um, all of the wrapping done for now. Obviously I can't wrap anything else until I receive more of the gifts that I've ordered <clears throat> online. So um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm literally not doing anything else for the rest of the day. Just boring stuff, working, um, the same old kind of stuff really. And then hopefully tomorrow's vlog can be me putting up the tree. So fingers crossed I receive everything I need to do the tree and then um, I'll get it out of the loft and start putting up the tree and make it look all Christmassy in our flat. So that should be exciting. Um, so yeah, that's it really. I hope you guys enjoyed this first Vlogmas vlog and um, I will have this up obviously I'll be uploading every other day as I said on my Instagram for those of you who follow me on Instagram <coughs> um, but if I have a lot more going on at the moment I don't but when I do then obviously I will upload daily if I have a lot more content but we'll see how it goes anyways please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already as I said I will be uploading every other day this month and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye.